Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. So yesterday I made a video making these things and then I always watch my videos back and <laughs> my camera was in the wrong place. So you could only see like a portion of anything that I was working on. So I, I'm, I'm not going to put it up because it would be very frustrating for you guys to watch. Trust me, it was frustrating for me. So I'm going to stand up again and make sure that everything's in. Yeah, so like, say for this, it would have been working off camera. You know, I would have been doing all my decorating down here. And you would have only seen this up here. So anyway, hopefully... Hopefully I've got a handle on it. It was so frustrating from when I started watching it back. Alrighty, so, um, and I must say, it was the most fabulous video. It, it would have earned me awards, you know. So, <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Um, okay, so here is, you know, what I was working on. And I'm going for Shabby Chic. Now, I've never done Shabby Chic before, and one of the things I was wondering is does this look shabby chic to you guys am i getting it right there are things that i think of when i think of shabby chic um, i think of like the pinks and the kind of teal um and like cream and i think of ruffles and i don't know buttons of course flowers um, but more like muted colors so so i don't know what do you guys think does this Shabby chic to you? Um, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, either way, I'm still going to go with it. But I don't know if that's what I should call it or not. Anyway, so those are the things that we made yesterday that I don't get to show you. It's such a bummer. Such a bummer. And um, I was running out of time. It was like an hour. Uh, so I didn't finish this last one. And I don't remember exactly what I was going to do with this last one. But let's see here. Let's go ahead and trim that off. So what I'm finding is um, like things don't show up very well. Now that one actually isn't bad. Some of the things, the colors behind are so oh, like almost overwhelming, you know, what I'm trying to, to decorate it with. So, but actually this seems fine. I was thinking about putting like this tiny little rickrack on here. I think that's cute. Yeah. Okay. Did I already inked all the way around this? No, and I also need to back it. I just have some, some leftover craft paper. It's like packaging paper, I guess. I'll use that. So I don't know if you guys have ever glued stuff down with Fabri-Tac, you know, that's not fabric, but um, it tends to not warp the pages so much and uh, leave, it tends to not leave all of those glue lines. So So I was really, really bummed out about not being able to post that video. I had. 
had all the best stories. Of course, I don't remember what they are. And I'm joking a little bit. I'm sure there was lots of silent time during that hour. <laughs> but I can say it was the best video ever because you'll never know. <laughs> My, I don't know if you can see it, but my my thing got on my desk. Now I've got a permanent mark on my desk because my desk is wood. That's all right though. paper towel down here that I will set it on instead. All right. My nose is tickling me. All righty then. So we want this. So I'm just going to do like a light layer of the Fabri-Tac just a tiny bit down the edge. Let's see. Got a little fuzz on it. Or threads, I'm not sure what. Okay, and so I wanted to put, this is such tiny little rickrack that I have a feeling it's not going to be really easy to get it glued down. But we're going to try. So I want to cut it here, I think. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to run a little bit of the Fabri-Tac and hopefully I get just the right amount where it will stay. And then we'll ink around this little flower. So these are Tim Holtz flowers. And I remember when I bought them, I, I remember being so excited about finding them because like I love flowers. But I've actually had a hard time using them, um, and I think I think it works that they're really good for the shabby chic look. What do you guys think? I don't like how white this area is. I don't know. Just add a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna do fabric tack again. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it.
Alrighty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some sort of topper on it. Don't know what at this point. Let's see, what do I have laying around? I have this um, really cool fabric that I was hoping to, I don't know, do the cover with or something. This is just a strip from it. But it might work good as a topper. I need to make it. I always go either too long or too short with these. Let's see, hopefully my hole punch will cut through the lace okay. to tell where I am on this one. It doesn't want to open now. There it goes. It kind of cut through it. That'll be fine. And then I'm going to put one of these on the back. I don't think one would stay on the front on that lace, at least not very easily. So we'll just not worry about the front. Oh, I still need to stitch around it too. So part of the reason why I had such trouble yesterday is because I wanted to, you know, make them and stitch them with you guys. And um, <laughs> I think having my sewing machine over here is what threw me off so much. Whoa, I've got it on fast obviously. and then the topper. Okay. So there is that one. Okay. Um, so those were the ones that I had planned to do, you know, on the video yesterday. Um, and then today I was thinking to make some of those, um, I don't know what they're called, but it was one of the 
things that I believe it's Roxy at Roxy Creations um, had in one of her challenges and a lot of people have been making them. Um, I don't know what she's calling them, so but you'll see what I mean when I get going. So let's see how long this is. I'm thinking it's probably, so it's like eight and a quarter inches. So this is good. We're going to just start with that as a base. And then let's see, I need my paper cutter. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna make sure my camera is still in the right place. Yes. See, I kind of wondered yesterday if I put it in the right place, but it, it moved. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right. This one with my scissors. And then I'm wondering if I can add like a little bit of you know, something like this to it. I like that. I feel like maybe this should be a little shorter, but I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's just go ahead. We'll just do this one and, and we'll see how it works out. Okay, I'm going to ink around. So I'm trying to think like what I talked about yesterday so I can repeat myself, but it's hard for me to remember. I really don't remember. I remember, you know, the one thing was that my son got his first tattoo yesterday. Um, I don't know if he'll end up being one of those people who gets lots or not. I have no idea. Um, we're not. You know, like my husband and I don't have tattoos or anything like that. But when I was younger, I wanted some. I think I'm just kind of too old to care now. <laughs> so it isn't anything that really interests me. But I know lots of people really, really like them, especially lately. Um, and I know my kids both really like them. And so I just kind of feel like um, maybe I like a little bit of that showing. I feel like since people like him so much right now that he probably will end up getting quite a few, but I don't know. But he got um, a SpongeBob one 
And if you knew my son, <laughs> you totally get that. He's Spongebob freak. He, he really likes Spongebob. It's pretty funny. If you haven't watched any Spongebob, it's pretty funny. I do like it, but I, I don't want it to be that narrow. So I think we're going to do that. Do you think it's too long? Just do it, Stephanie. Just do it, Stephanie. Just do it. Um, but my daughter wants some too. But she's only 16. My son is 19, so, you know, he went and did it on his own and paid for it and all that. Um, but my daughter... I'm just like, no, you need, you're going to wait because, you know, for her to get one, I would have to sign off on it. And, um, I do not want to be held responsible in the future, you know, because, you know, she'd be like, mom, why did you let me get that? You know, like, I don't think she would regret the tattoo, but I think she might, uh, choose one and then not like it. <laughs> course I don't know that she would ever admit it to me if she did that but still I'm just like you know what I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have that to be my responsibility I'm gonna let you figure that out when you're old enough to go and get it yourself so I, I kept telling my son that the only one he was allowed to get is one that says mom <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> I should have. No, it'll be fine. Let's see. Okay. I think that I'm going to do glue right here and then glue here. And hopefully it's not going to get all over the place. Come on, Stephanie. Man, it just sucks down quick. That Art Glitter Glue does. Okay, I'm going to grab my, my, I don't know what it's called, my whale tail punch thingy, this. I was thinking it'd be cute to have a pink one coming off of it. So I don't know what she called these things, but, um, or even, I didn't watch the video, but I've seen people making some, like I said. So um, I don't know if they're exactly like she made them or similar or not, but I'll look it up before I post the video so I can maybe, maybe list it that way. I don't know. I was thinking to put, I don't know, either that or I also have this one. And I'm wondering if I might like this one better. This is broken, so I have to use it backwards, but that's fine because it lets me line it up a little bit better and not have as much, you know, waste. It's not real easy to get it to cut the paper sometimes. Yeah. It's like hand positioning and all of that. Oh my goodness, it's not going to do it. Oh my goodness. Why isn't it cutting? Okay, now I'm bummed. I can line it 
up again? Probably not. Oh my goodness, you guys. There. I know it was wiggling the camera, so sorry about that. Yeah, I found that at a yard sale like a year ago, and I knew it was broken, but I didn't care because I wanted it. And I was like, I'm going to make it work. I think I like this better, uh, just the length of it. Okay, we're going to do that. Um, and then sometimes I go in and go ahead and ink the part that where it's folded so that, you know, bright white isn't showing. And then I want to zigzag down the center of this, I think. Oops. Who knows if it's actually centered? I don't think that it is. But... go back and add um, like something else on it but I don't know I was thinking maybe we could just make a few and then decide if we wanted to add anything on them okay let me get my ink out of the way where's the lid I need to take a drink of water my mouth is really dry Okay, so there's one. Um, let's see here. So again, I'm digging through my scraps. Oh, here we go. This is good. Let's do, <coughs> sorry, let's do about the same, just so that they're consistent. Just I probably would have wanted that to be a little bit of a wider strip, but you know, that's fine. I don't know. 
What do you think? It's not like rocket science or anything. Let me see what other things are inside of here. Looks like those are just about my choices, so that's fine. We'll do this. That actually is fine, I guess. We'll do that. Let's see how we're gonna stick them together, though. Okay, get that out of the way. The tattoo that my son got okay so I don't know you know how many of you have watched Spongebob I know it's not a lot of people's favorite but I know that it is also a lot of people's favorite and uh, we actually really liked it I remember when we first became aware of it we sat there and just binge watched some of it <laughs> I mean it's a long time ago but we we just hadn't watched any of it and, and I don't know if my son had watched it at somebody's house or what, but um, he's like, you know, watch this with us. And we just thought it was hilarious. But there's one where Squidward discovers that he likes Krabby Patties and he eats so much that he like gets huge. And um, SpongeBob gets this horrible grin on his face and he's like, Squidward, you like Krabby Patties, don't you? And and that's the tattoo that my son got is of SpongeBob saying that, and then the the grin on SpongeBob's face. So it's it's cute. I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this. Doesn't need much. So we're having a couple more hot days. Um, I mean, not terribly hot, because normally if we were going to get the really, really hot, hot weather, we would expect it in August, but we got it way earlier this year for some reason. And um, so it's, it's supposed to be like 100 or 102, which, you know, that's hot, but it could be worse for sure. But then the forecast is showing, you know, like upper, upper 90s and, or not, no, more like low 90s and upper 80s. So that is wonderful. We're very excited about that. I think this is just too much. It's too wide. Yeah. I could do that though. But then if I did that, I wouldn't be able to put on one of those file folder, not file folder, you know, the little things. I do like that though. But I was thinking just to make four of them and just to have them, you know, going down like that. Hmm. I like that though. I'm trying to 
trying to think if there's something else I could put on it. All right, so. Hopefully I'm, I'm stopping the glue at the right places. All right, so then I need paper big enough to use that okay let's do this green one I think that'll work wait maybe I've got a big enough piece right here All right, we're gonna try and use this thing again. My goodness, it's not always this hard. It's because you guys are watching. trying to think of something to talk about you guys I haven't been doing much um, I haven't been out of the house much I did some mowing yesterday I, I've been feeling like I want to go you know shopping but I I don't know I don't really need to and um, or need anything so I don't know I don't even know what I would go where I would go shopping so, thinking right around in here. I'm just going to mark it a little bit so I know that's kind of the center of where I want it. Oops, I almost dropped it. So are these like what Roxy made? I'm not even sure. I think they are, but I'm not sure. I was thinking about adding just like a little bit of something here. Let's see. All right, I'm not sure you guys are gonna like what you're about to see, but I learned this from watching uh, G. Kerr, I think is her name. And she makes, you know, she takes the, I need to get a different stitch going here. Um. She makes like little ruffled things out of the seam binding and people are like, well, how do you get it up in there? And she, she uses like a fingernail file or something like that. So sorry if this is not something you want to see done on a sewing machine. 
what you're about to. So she just kind of takes and pushes it in there and then, you know, pulls it out sideways. You just have to make sure you pull it out and you don't sew it, you know. And then I did I just wanted some. I didn't want the whole thing done. I don't know if it'll backstitch for me. We'll see. Nope, I didn't think it would. That's all right, though. I might take in, I'm going to hot glue this down and I might scrunch it just a little bit more with the hot glue. So there's another one. So then it would just go like on the side of a page. So just like a decoration on the side of a page. I think they're pretty. And if you, um, if you just attach them right at the edge, they can be a tuck. I think they're very pretty. I want to make more. Let's see how much time we have. 43 minutes. So I'll make one more with you guys. I had to get another drink of water. My mouth is really dry today. I don't know why. Okay, so what other colors of paper can I focus on? I could do one of this color. With a little bit of this and this, maybe. Let's try it and see how it goes. Let's see here. I'm going to get the paper cutter out and I will cut. I'm going to cut this side since it's already, it's actually already got a little bit of a cut in it. So I'm just going to follow that. And then I don't know if I like this and this together. What do you guys think? I'm just seeing what else I have in here. I 
like that. I want this to be showing. Let's see here. So maybe if I did this along the edge. Okay, so that means I need to make this smaller. I'm going to This actually needs to be the one that's the longest. And then I'll cut off some of this. thinking. I don't know, maybe like that. I feel like it needs something right there, but because hmm. did I make this too short? I don't know, you guys. I'm questioning myself on this one for sure. I like the the blue more than I like the pink. Maybe I will just go ahead and cut that off. I don't know. There's something about it that I just don't like. I think this needs to be wider. Um, okay. Let me 
see what I have in here. My pieces are just falling everywhere every time I open up my thing of paper. Okay. No. I feel like I had more of that wood green. Seriously, my papers are just flying everywhere. I have a whole page of the wood grain, and you guys, I'm supposed to be using scraps, not making scraps. So this is not advisable. Okay, so what I'm thinking to do is more like that. So now I just need to know how long. And then how wide. Maybe I think I'm going to make this a little thinner. see it? There it is. And then my mark down here is, I think it's right there, I think. Well, I'm just going to cut it. scraps. really hungry. It's past lunchtime, I think. Uh, just a little bit. 12.30. So yesterday, I um, uploaded the video of the flip through of the Deep in the Forest journal. It was not a long video. And it, I, I you know, set it up to upload and then generally I'll walk away and just do things. Well, it I go back and, and it hadn't uploaded. Um, I was so frustrated. I'm thinking about doing...
just a little extra. Yeah. So yeah, just like 20, 20 ish minute video. And I had to then delete the upload because when it does that, it's, it's not going to upload. Um, and so you have to delete it and redo it. At least this is the way it is for me. And, um, so then the next time, yeah, when I went ahead and redid it, it uploaded so quickly. It was frustrating, but it, you know, would have been up hours before. But then I had, you know, like I had to run to the store and I upload from my phone. And if it gets interrupted, it doesn't like that. So, you know, like it's on wi-fi in my house wi-fi and then if it has to like switch over to data or something like that it just does not appreciate it so it took a long time for that to upload yesterday my um my internet's been really slow lately though so i don't i don't know maybe it had something to do with that like i go to open something and it just it's like, you know, spinning, <laughs> thinking. Which I think I want to do all the way over. Okay, so then I think I'll put my glue on here. Cute, I think. Okay, so then I need to put another um, tab on it. So I have a pink one and a green one. How about a blue one? Let's see. I'm going to see if I have any smaller pieces. This is fine. All right, here we go again. That one was easy. I need to figure out a little something extra to put on this one as well. I just don't know what at this point. Let's see here. I'm trying to make them so that they'll line up nicely on the side of a, a book, you know? I think that's probably good. I'm thinking though, Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and glue that. So it's kind of centered where this lady is sitting. I was thinking maybe 
It seems like it needs something up here. Just something like scrunched up maybe. because I don't want it to hang off. I don't know if this is going to work or not. too fluffy. No, oh, I think I like it there. Let's go ahead and glue that down and we will call this a video. I will make one more on my own so that I have a tab like one, two, three, four, you know, coming out of the side of a book. Can you guys hear my stomach? It's growling. I am really hungry and I don't know what I'm going to eat. Trying to get the glue off my fingers. I'm going to put just a touch. Ouch. There. I don't like how it's sticking up. I want it to be a little flatter. I might add a button to that. Not sure. I don't know if I have a good button for adding from this little thing here. I don't think I do. Because I don't know that white's good. I might also do like, you know, like a little flower or something if I find a good one. Actually, maybe a fabric flower would be good right there. Or nothing. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, so there's that. And I'm going to stop for now. I'll make another one on my own to finish that off. <clears throat> um, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.